Hi there and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we finally got the hedge cutter on the back of the case puma and we finally got it out into the field. It's a lovely day and the hedge is ready to be cut as you can see. It's pretty overgrown and that's the hedge we're going to be cutting today. Well, we're cutting this whole field and most of the hedge is like this anyway. But we finally got the hedge cutter on. I'm not going to lie to you, I don't really know much about hedge cutters. But it's got Power Arm 55 EDS. If anyone can tell me in the comments what that means, I'll be very much that would be very much appreciated. So I don't know how far the arm reaches, but I think the head, I think it's a four meter head on it. And as you can see, as a second hand hedge cutter, it's not too bad. The previous owner kept it well greased up. I've just greased it quickly and the old grease nipples worked. So that's a good start. So I'm just going to hop into the cab now and show you what the, the controls do. I don't know what all the controls do though. I know I've got a pretty good idea what the joystick or the things on the joystick do. So I'll just give you a quick walk around that. And I'm just going to say before completely starting the video, this is only going to be a short video. I'm probably going to have a part one and part two, but this is just going to be a walk through my first day on the hedge cutter. And then next video, which is either going to be Monday or Tuesday, that's going to be the proper hedge cutting video. So this one's probably going to be a three or four minute one. But I hope you enjoy and we'll get straight into looking at the joystick and the controls. Right. So I'm just going to turn the PT on now, otherwise the joystick, well, the joystick won't work if the PT is not working. So right, we'll have a go, but I think if you pull the joystick up, yeah, it moves the arm up, and then if you push it down, it moves the arm down, and then this wheel here, this should, this one here, this should move the head. Yep. And then the other way. And this one here, this moves the arm back into transportation mode or if you're gonna start working on the hedge. So I know the basics of the controls, but when it comes to this box here, I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know much about it. I know this button here, this starts the flails up on the header and this one stops the flails. But for the rest of it, not gonna lie to you, I don't have a clue. But if anyone knows what the rest of these mean, drop a comment and I'll be very much appreciated. So we'll start cutting cutting the hedge up. And as I said, this one's gonna be only be a short video. The big video is either gonna be Monday or Tuesday. So we'll get on with the video. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll catch you in the next one, which is gonna be Monday, Tuesday. Hope you enjoy. I've just started cutting the hedge now. I'm not going to lie to you, I don't know which is the best way to go about it. I, is it to chop the top of the hedge first, the side of the hedge or the bottom of the hedge? If you've got any tips, leave it in the comments and then I'll take it on board. So that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoy and I'll catch you in the next one.